Hey everyone, Lachlan here, and today we're unboxing the Bose SoundLink Color Portable Bluetooth Speaker. Now the story behind this particular uh, product is I was stuck in a factory outlet mall today and uh, I was killing time so I wandered into the Bose outlet store and I saw these things on display and I thought that's strange, I've never seen these before. I do know that Bose makes a bunch of SoundLink uh, Bluetooth speakers but they're all made of metal, uh, they generally have favorable reviews that I've read online, but they are quite expensive products. Whereas this thing is made of plastic, uh, it's a fair bit cheaper, it costs $180 in Australia. And I did some research on my smartphone and I found out that this is actually a completely new release product, it was only announced a week ago. It hasn't even gone on sale yet in America. It goes on sale on the 25th of September and I bought this on the 23rd of September. Um, it's going to be priced at $129 in the United States uh, and you know for a, for a piece of Bose equipment that is actually relatively cheap by their standards. So I, I was kind of really curious. I had a listen to the in-store demo and um, you know I was actually decently impressed so I decided I'm going to take one of these home to give it a proper review. So in this video I'm going to be unboxing um, this product but I'll also give you my first impressions of the sound from uh, when I was listening to the music in, in the actual store, my own music from my own phone. But also I will leave some more detailed first impressions once I've got this open and I had to listen to it. I'm going to leave more detailed first impressions in the description of this video. So just uh, have a read of that. You can check that out uh, after you've finished watching this video. But anyway, uh, let's get on with the unboxing now. As in, in kind of Bose typical fashion, the box tells you very, very little in terms of the uh, capabilities of this product. So. Uh, it's, it's basically a, a Bluetooth speaker, it has a rechargeable lithium-ion battery uh, that lasts for up to 8 hours apparently. It, it charges via micro USB in 3 hours, and that's what it says on the website. Uh, they don't even list which Bluetooth protocol it uses to connect to the phone, so it just says Bluetooth, I don't know if it's AppDex or, or what kind of profile. Um, maybe there'll be something in the instruction manual, but pretty much this box doesn't give much away. Uh, one really interesting thing that I saw was that on this particular speaker, it says, engineered in the USA and made in Mexico. And this may be the first electronic product that I've ever bought that was made in Mexico. I wasn't even aware that they uh, made electronics in Mexico, so that was quite interesting. So I got the mint color. It also comes in a black, a red, a white, and a blue. Uh, I think the mint color was probably the more interesting one in terms of uh, the kind of look. You normally don't get to see mint electronics, so I thought it was a bit interesting. Anyway, let's get this box open. Uh, so I should say when I had a listen in the store, I was surprised at the sound that came out of this unit. Like it wasn't mind blowing, but it was definitely pretty impressive for a unit of its relative size. And you'll see how big it is in a moment. Um, I don't have the, the, the most amount of experience with portable Bluetooth speakers. I do have the TDK A33, which I bought because it was relatively well rated. Um, this is the quick start guide. It doesn't seem like it would be very uh, you know, important. Your product includes a free trial of Deezer Premium Plus and 50% off for a full year. I do not even know what Deezer is. I'm assuming that that's some sort of... Uh, Ignore that coupon code, please don't use that coupon code, I want it. Um, I'm assuming some sort of streaming music uh, service. Bose SoundLink Color uh, safety instructions, in case this product bursts into flames or something like that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, when I listened to this store, listened in the store, this unit actually produced a sound. It wasn't immensely bassy, but it had this warmish kind of mid forward tone there's a particular forwardness to the vocals that seems very typical of Bose gear um, that I've heard uh, and again I thought it was decently impressive for the size now I think $180 uh, my first impressions was it didn't seem worth $180 in terms of sound but it did seem like if this was $129 in the US it seemed like a reasonably decent price now here are the travel um, 
travel power adapters, pretty much there's not much in this box apart from the unit. And the USB war charger, yet another USB war charger that I don't need because, you know, who doesn't already have a million of these? Um, what's nice is that this thing will charge by micro USB, so you get a micro USB cable here. Uh, comes with it. Uh, obviously that's not openable. Sorry, I mean that's not opened, of course it's openable. I'd be somewhat concerned if the um, packaging was not openable. Yeah, just a micro USB cable on one end, USB. So I'll, I'll put that to the test to see if it really does charge in three hours. Here's the unit itself. As you can see, it's quite a small little thing. In terms of design, I gotta say, this thing reminds me of a little space heater that people, particularly office workers, use in their cubicles to kind of uh, get the place a bit warmer. So it has this sort of very, very, you know, diminutive design to it. You'll notice that this product does not come with a carrying case. Bose actually sells a carrying case separately for these speakers. It costs $40. So that is, that is a huge proportion of the price of this product. And I thought that was outrageous. I didn't get the um, carrying case just because I'm not going to spend $40 on, on a carrying case for a $200 speaker. It should, it should actually come with a carrying case. So I thought that was a little annoying. Now you can see that uh, unusually this design, this product is designed, you see the rubber feet here. It is designed to stand upright like this. It has all the controls here. I'll just show you how this thing pairs if there's any power in it. So I just gave this thing a quick charge just so I could show you how this thing kind of turns on in pairs of your phone. One thing that I did notice when I was playing around with this unit is that there is no um, specific battery life indicator apart from the colors. So it either displays uh, amber if it's middle charge, green if it's um, fully charged, or red if it's about to go flat. So it would be nice to have a battery indicator. I think that's a, that's a little strange of them not to have like several distinct levels to show you. But, I guess that's what you get. Um, the other thing about this unit, I don't know if you just heard that, but when you turn on the unit, Ready to pair. there are voice prompts to tell you what to do. You can apparently turn those on and off. Um, uh, so I guess it's to help people who aren't quite sure what all the blinking lights and everything mean. I'm pretty sure once you work out the way this device works, you won't need the voice prompts anymore. Um, okay, so let's just do the pairing. It's, it's pretty simple. We always just... Uh, as always, we just, the device will turn up, Bose color sound link, um, we hit the device, and then there you go. Alright, so it actually says the name of the, uh, of my phone, which is interesting. So as you now have figured out, uh, I've named my phone Locklaw, um, the destroyer of worlds, as I like to think of it. Now, uh, the other thing is that apparently the Bose SoundLink color can link to two different devices at the same time and it remembers eight different Bluetooth profiles, which is interesting. Uh, apparently, because you can connect it to two devices at the same time, to switch between the two, you just have to stop playing on one and start playing on the other. It doesn't take calls. It, uh, you know, there's no microphone. It's not a, you know, it's not a waterproof speaker or anything like that. This is just a basic uh, Bluetooth speaker. Anyway, I'll just show you what it sounds like, and I'll be using the track uh, "Lovely" by Triad because this is a track that I do have permission to use. And obviously, you're going to hear this coming through the microphone uh, that I'm using, so it's not going to sound like it will sound in real life. But I can tell you. The sound that comes out of this unit is actually decently impressive, so I'm just going to stop talking for a moment and let you have a listen to it. part of the song. So 
again, that's not perfect audio. It is a bit, uh, a bit mushy. Uh, the, the, the high frequencies would probably do a little more detail, and of course the bass notes are kind of missing, especially uh, the, the very kind of lowest bass registers. But for the size of this unit, uh, and, and the clarity of the sound, I think it's actually uh, a decent kind of thing. I will, as I said, write some more detailed first impressions in the description of this video, but I think it actually sounds decent. Now, I think it sounds, uh, if it's sold for $129 in the US, I actually think that's, that's a reasonable enough price. $180 in Australia seems a little steep, but that's always how things go in Australia. I can't really help that. But anyway, uh, check out the, um, the, the first impressions review in the description of this video. Click the like button if you found this video helpful. You can talk to me on Facebook at facebook.com slash lock and likes a thing. On Twitter at locks like thing. Sorry, at lock likes a thing. Um, thanks to all my regular subscribers. I'm going to have fun playing all this and leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think of this little unit. And happy listening.